So throughout Elegy, there is this vibrato note that happens. So there's two things to consider. Obviously, um, an important factor is the actual mechanics and the shape of your harp, which I'll very quickly talk about at the end. But first of all, um, I have three different ways that I use um, to create this effect. And obviously, it's, it's dependent on everyone's shape of their hands and their thumb, what will work best for them. So if I just show you the three different ways I do it. So the first way is to use the playing part of your thumb and to put that in contact with the string and you're going for the gap here between where the lever touches there and you're just going to push in and out. It's good to grab hold of the top of the heart very loosely so you're not, you're not clenching it but just have your fingers resting there and I think to have that support is really good. The second way I do it is to bend the knuckle of my thumb to use the actual top of my thumb here so it's like um, it's not on it's a mixture of sort of pressing down on what would be the top tip of your bone and the nail and it's more and it, you'll be really careful obviously to not bend your nail back there is actually a sweet point that if you find it it actually feels really comfortable if you don't find that comfort bit um, way of doing it then then don't proceed with this but there is a way you just just placing it and you just think oh actually that's okay and it's not bending your nail and it's not hurting the tip of your of, of your thumb and the the joint is bent and then the third way is to actually just use lower down on your on the pad of your thumb and again having the fingertip uh, sorry the thumb knuckle bent so there's just more actual thumb going onto the string so i use a mixture of all three of those um, and it's actually quite good because it can be a bit tiring to actually vary it so that you feel comfortable doing that. Uh, the other thing to consider is the speed of the vibrato in that you can do a, a wide one or um, a very quick shallow one. So that is going to be down to the speed and whether it's a regular speed that you're kind of making this contact with or a sort of a faster one, a, a slower one, and then gradually getting a little bit faster. So just playing around with that. Um, the other thing as well, of course, is actually the mechanics of your harp. I mean, I'm, I'm very lucky in that this um, particular harp, there is a lovely massive gap here um, with, for space for me to get my, my thumb in. Um, with some harps, I'm very aware that the space can be very, very small indeed. I find that um, putting your thumb in that way is possible when you have a really, really tiny gap. You can just kind of pop, pop your thumb underneath there and then you can still get your thumb in there and make a little bit of a, of, um, a vibrato sound. Generally, the thicker gut stringed harps are more difficult to do it on. Um, but I can successfully do it on harps like Pilgrim harps. They are absolutely fine. Um, but obviously, the thinner the thinner the string, if it's a thin gut harp or um, or nylon or carbon fiber strings, then it works absolutely fine. Um, the reason why this harp, this piece doesn't work so well on on pedal harp is because I can get the vibrato note on a D flat. Um, at that pitch, but as soon as you put the pedal down into D natural, I find it just doesn't doesn't work at all on on the concert harp. If you did want to play this piece on the concert harp, obviously a way around that would be to leave your um, pedal engaged, um, not engaged, into D flat, and then manually tune the, all the Ds that you need into D natural. Um, so they sound D natural, but you've got the pedal up in D flat. And then that way you could actually play this piece on the pedal harp.